Hi, my name is Michael or you can call me MBL Designs and today it's time for another mock showcase and today I'm going to showcase my Aquaman versus Ocean Master mock. So something I'm really loving at the moment is that LEGO are really producing some more I wouldn't say obscure, but not as well-known villains. For example, we finally got an Ocean Master a couple of years ago, which is amazing. And I think it's partially because of the movie, the popularity of the movie, even though, if I remember right, we did get the minifigure right before the movie or something like that. Even though it's comic book based, it looks very similar to the one we actually got in the movie as well. But Something I'm really loving is that LEGO are really producing some more obscure characters, not only from the LEGO Batman movie we got a couple of years back, but also some just yes, comic book based figures. For example, different versions of comic book characters as well, because we do have this more badass version of Aquaman with his uh, hook for a hand, uh, which is one of the cooler version uh, versions of Aquaman in my opinion, which we did get in the DC minifigure series and I'm really hoping that Lego puts a lot more effort into Characters like this which they've really proven that they do right now So I hope they don't back down from that statement because I'm really loving this so far so so much that I'm actually in the process of doing something yeah, I'm really excited about. So this is one of my first uh, models in this concept where we have Aquaman versus his main nemesis. Some would say Black Manta is his main nemesis but in my opinion I like the dynamic between Orm and Aquaman a lot more because of their brotherhood and also their rival you know, rivalry uh, surrounding that as well and Orm does have a lot of good points for example I have one of them right here when it comes to pollution and you can actually relate to both sides in one or another way which is really cool but this concept that I want to build in Lego is also Hero versus their main nemesis. So I have a plan of doing one for each Justice League member and that is my main favorite Justice League member. So we have Aquaman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman and Flash. I've, I'm thinking about including some others in between there but I don't have some concrete ideas for those characters just yet. I do have some really concrete ideas for at least Wonder Woman and Flash and also Batman but I have almost finished the Flash one which will be hopefully done by the end of this year and I'm currently working on the Wonder Woman vs Sheeta which is super fun and if I forgot to say the Flash one is Flash vs Reverse Flash of course but bringing it back to the Ocean Master versus Aquaman model. It's quite simplistic. I really wanted to do something a lot more smaller because for the past year I've done some really big things and I wanted to step back and do something completely different. And the thing I decided to do was yes, downsize it and focus on detail instead. So this is also my first time doing underwater scenes, which is interesting because the characters must be in the air because they are floating, so they can't really be attached to the base plate like a normal mock that I've done recently where all of the figures are just attached to the ground. So they had to be floating in one sh way, shape or form, something that I did to sell that effect is using these transparent bars with a um, stud attachment at the bottom and then do this like it's kind of complicated how i did it but having you a look here so it's a few different bar pieces so i can angle the characters however i want and whenever i take the photos i just 
photograph it from an angle where you don't see that. And a really cool thing when it comes to Orm is because he has the cape and all of these things are on the back of the minifigure's legs, I actually used the bar to angle his cape because this is one of the softer capes so it doesn't really hold form. And I really like this effect because it actually looks like it's um, yeah, just going through the water uh, and uh, is waving about all crazy like but I really like that effect and it really sells the whole thing. I did mention it beforehand but I do have these oil tanks symbolizing pollution and the whole argument Orm has about the ocean uh, or the surface dwellers yeah, polluting the oceans and destroying their world and that is an argument that is really really valid for Orm to actually have and is really accurate to how we've actually treated the earth for centuries now and even more now than before so I really wanted to include that and it's quite simple how I actually made it so uh, I actually used an official Lego sticker on the front. It's uh, a sticker from one of the um, cars from um, Captain America Civil War. Uh, I think it was with crossbones and stuff like that. Um, and I just used it. One thing some people probably don't like is the fact that the sticker is overlapping over two pieces. I normally hate when Lego does that. Lego has does that. Uh, yeah. Lego have done that in the past, but for the past years they haven't really done that, which is great, but I felt my mouth my rules basically, and it doesn't hurt anyone basically. Uh, so I'm really happy with that, so I'm just going to take off the figures so you can see all of the details I have in the back. And as you can see, it's basically just some dark tan plates and some coral detail and one thing that i really liked how it turned out was just this like seaweed plant thingy quite simple just some um, studs with holes and then a flower piece on top and i really just think it popped really well and then I also made my own like coral stems or whatever you want to call them, which was kind of funny because I really wanted to build coral out of pieces instead of using some pre-molded part. At that time, Lego didn't even have a pre-molded part, but around the same time I built this, Lego actually re released this piece which is a preformed coral piece from uh, a few of the Lego friend sets, which is really kind of fun in my opinion. So I kind of bypassed the idea of not using a pre-molded uh, coral, coral piece just yes, because Lego didn't uh, produce any at the time. Um, just so Lego could produce one right around the same time I made this, which is kind of funny in my opinion. But yeah, one thing I can point out, which is kind of important when you're working in LDD, for example. So for those who don't know, LDD stands for Lego, Lego Digital Designer. And it's a software where you can build Lego models digital and it's Lego's own software. Sadly, they don't update it as regularly as they've done before. But in my opinion, I feel it works a lot better compared with other uh, software like uh, Bricklink's uh, studio. Um, but one thing you really have to remember if you're using LED, the extension, which is, or yeah, LED extended, I think it's called, where you get to choose any color for the pieces you use. Always remember to check the colors of the pieces beforehand and the uh, availability of said pieces. I normally do this, but when I was working on this on LDD, I completely forgot. So when I decided to use this curved piece right here, 
I used it in sangrene, and not to, um, and I did not check up how many sets this came in, and I was um, saddened to see that it was quite expensive because it didn't come in that many sets, and I just needed one of them. As lucky as that was, I would be kind of devastated if I used any more than that, but yeah, at least I could use it for the purposes of this model and not have it be financial devastating. But just a reminder to all of, all of you out there to not make the same mistake I almost did, so, or that I actually did. Um, so that was everything I had to say about this mock, so please tell me what you thought about it down in the comments and please rate, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching.